Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a look into your partner. Could be your present partner or your future partner. Um, this, res this message will not resonate with every Aries out there, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. I'm going to be looking into what's on their mind. How do they see you? How do they see the connection? What's blocking the connection? And what is the possible outcome? Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate them. All right, let's see what we have for Aries. Spirit, please bring forth messages for... Oh. My cards have been going crazy today. All right, Aries, let's do this again. What's on this person's mind? Okay, well, I have the Ace of Pentacles here and I have four of wands and another deck. So I think that's pretty clear, huh? <laughs> so this person's thinking commitment, long-term commitment. Whoa, oh my God, I just, I'm a mess, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to get it together. Okay, how do they see Aries? Flip the energies if they resonate, you guys. Sometimes energies can be vice versa. How do they see Aries? How do they view Aries, Eric? Okay, Aries, they see you as justice. Okay. They can see you at, as someone balanced, fair, level-headed. I feel like for some of you, they see you as very serious, like a serious person. <coughs> someone that doesn't take any crap from anybody. How do they feel about this connection? Okay, thank you. The hangman. Okay, so they feel like they are a little stuck. Why the hangman? I am going to clarify with another deck, but okay. Knight of Wands. Okay. So I really feel like this person has had a eureka moment recently about this connection and it's kind of come to like try to come in hot with how they feel. Like they had a sudden realization and they were probably stuck in a situation, but I feel like they're either free of that or they're, they're not caring about that. Yeah, they were not moving, not doing anything but they saw this empress and they just had to go for it what's blocking this connection okay eight of eight of pentacles okay so somebody could not be working or putting in as much effort or someone's either focus on themselves six of pentacles eight of pentacles well let me just do that again so, okay, so the challenge here, I feel, is someone wants to go out and do this and this other person's just focused on themselves. They're like, nah, I got stuff to do. I'm busy. <laughs> I am working on myself, on fixing myself, on, you know, improving my, my situation. And almost like there's no, there's no eye to eye here about something. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Judgment. Well, someone's making a judgment call of some sort or having an awakening of some sort. I have 10 of cups under the deck. Why judgment? Well, why judgment? Why judgment in the outcome? Again, I feel like someone has had a eureka moment. Yep. Someone has had some sort of awakening or realization about how they feel and they want a new start with you, some sort of new passionate beginning here. Some of you are single with the Knight of Pentacles and this person is about to change that. So let's see, I'm gonna clarify with another deck. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Aries. <clears throat> Regarding their partner. Messages for Aries regarding their partner, please. Interesting. Let me clarify these messages. Aries. 
All right, so let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles and what is on this person's mind. Ace of Pentacles. All right, so the moon. Okay, so some, someone could be, it's like almost like they know how they feel, but they're not sure how you feel. Could be a Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. Four of Pentacles under the deck. I keep getting the Four of Pentacles in these readings. Someone's holding back, not speaking. Um, yeah. Interesting. So they want an, a solid offer. They just don't know something. Tell me more about the moon. Tell me more about the moon here. Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past. Um, this person could also be wondering, like, I feel like I feel this connection, but do they? Tell me about justice. This is how they see you. This is Libra energy here. Why justice? Why do they see Aries as justice? I feel like they see you when they when they when they see you or when they think about you they think about the decision that they have to make or the decision that you have to make regarding them yeah two of swords this is about a decision here bottom of the deck is you aries with the emperor someone needs to get on this someone needs to make a decision i feel like the decision is whether you're going to accept this offer ten of pentacles here Yeah, Queen of Swords under there. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Emperor came out again. So, okay, so it's clarified by what I clarified, basically. Three of Wands under the deck there. Okay, so how do they feel about the connection? Tell me about the hangman, the knight of wands. Again, I feel like this is very like head and heart. Their mind is saying, you know, wait for the right moment. I know what I want. And their heart is like, let's go. Tell me about how they feel about this connection with the knight of wands, the hangman, king of pentacles, again. This person definitely wants commitment. They're not playing around here. Even though there's Knight of Wands up there. Okay, I have Knight of Swords. King of Wands. Well, that's pretty clear right there. This person feels very strongly for you and they want to make a move. They want to communicate how they feel. But there's the challenge with the Eight of Pentacles. Someone's not looking up to see this person. Someone's focused on themselves, on rebuilding themselves, on stability, on finances. Someone could also be just working on their finances and they cannot give with the Six of Pentacles. You know, like they want to take you out, but they can't because their finances aren't right. That's for some of you. Tell me more about what's blocking this connection with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. The signs I see so far are Pisces, Libra, and Aries. Okay, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands. So um, again, for those of you that this is somebody that is um, having finan financial difficulty, needing help financially, um, I feel like they still want to it's like they want to wait for the right time to make the offer, but in the meantime, they want to talk to you anyway. Like they can't, they can't not be around you. Um, they might be, get creative about dates, you know, like let's go to a picnic or one of those like matinee movies, <laughs> which I think is really sweet. For those of you who are not looking up to see this person is the same type of sentiment they want to communicate but they're waiting for the right time to do it they're waiting for courage as well with um the strength card at the bottom of the deck here sign of leo this person has been watching you with the page of swords it's like they're just waiting for courage to approach you tell me about the outcome here with the ace of wands and judgment 
I mean, this is a new beginning here. I see a new beginning at the end of all of this. Let's see, I'll come here. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Why the Nine of, okay. The Star. Okay, so. Aquarian energy. Um, so I feel like some of you have been alone and trying to heal from a situation working on yourselves, self-care, being financially stable on your own. And then there's going to be this offer coming in and it's like, you have to decide if you're gonna say yes or no. I feel like for some of you, this is your wish fulfillment and you don't realize it. Like this is what you've been wanting and you just haven't, it hasn't clicked for you yet, but it will with judgment here. For some of you, this was someone that your spirit guides or the divine has brought to you. And I feel like it's going to take you by surprise, but in a good way. I have at the bottom of the deck, Knight of, Knight of Wands again, followed by Queen of Swords and Page of Wands. So this person feels very strongly for you and they want to talk to you. Even if you have your walls up, even if you're like tough in the surface and like, it's not going to deter them. So I hope you accept. If not, let me know. <laughs> let me know down in the comments what the situation is. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. I appreciate your likes and your subscribes. And I will see you guys in my next video.